I would like to thank the CLA for this opportunity to speak to its members and would like to thank them for their ongoing support and engagement while we are developing future policy to support the agricultural sector. Last year, we published the Sustainable Farming and Our Land Consultation. The consultation presented a case for future funding to support and reward farmers who operate sustainable farming systems. In a world where future trade agreements are likely to open up our markets to a greater degree of competition, demonstrating the sustainability of food produced on Welsh farms with high animal welfare and environmental standards is likely to be increasingly important. The competitiveness of the farming sector in Wales was raised as a key issue in many responses to the consultation, with some arguing a focus on environmental outcomes would harm the financial viability of Welsh farming. The proposed approach would provide an important income stream for farmers, recognising the important work they do in delivering environmental outcomes and rewarding them for it. In addition, we are seeking to reinforce the long-term competitiveness of the sector through enhanced business advice and support. This will help support farmers in the new economic realities following the UK's departure from the EU. To ensure a fair playing field, we've always been clear with the UK government, no future trade agreement should undermine our domestic legislation or the high product and production standards we have in Wales. I've written to the UK government on this issue and I'm pleased to see the establishment of a Commission on Trade and Agriculture has now been agreed in principle. My officials and I will continue to press the UK government on their commitment to upholding high environmental food safety and animal welfare standards. Before the end of this Senate term, I will publish a white paper which will set out our plans for the Agricultural Wales Bill which will be introduced during the sixth Senate term. I propose this bill be strategic in scope, setting a support framework which can accommodate the development of agriculture and forestry within Wales for the next 15 to 20 years. I understand the sector is facing significant change at the moment and we will not implement a new scheme until it is ready and there will be a transition period long enough for farmers to adapt. The UK Government's ongoing delays in confirming the level of replacement funding are frustrating and are delaying detailed forward planning. Once we have clarity about the level of future funding for agricultural support, we will work with stakeholders to develop an appropriate model for transition. To ensure farmers are supported following the UK's exit from the EU, I intend to launch a consultation later this summer to seek views on the retention and simplification of rules around agricultural support for farmers and the rural economy. This support would bridge the gap between the current EU funding and any new scheme based on the sustainable land management. I know some of you have concerns around the introduction of the regulations around agricultural pollution. I've published draft regulations which I am minded to introduce. The impact of poor agricultural practice in respect of human health, biodiversity and climate change must be addressed. A whole Wales approach which provides a clear regulatory baseline will enable farmers to better understand the requirements. However, I will not be making a decision on regulations to tackle agricultural pollution until we have a clear understanding of the sector's ability to implement regulatory measures in light of the pandemic. Farmers, foresters and other land managers play a vital part in the economic, environmental and social well-being of Wales. We will continue to support them to adapt to economic and political changes, as well as the impact of climate change.